so the next one I had a question I had was I I know Dave Cash was like not not really talking about this, but kind of of like a triple crown, maybe for like individual athletes. How, like I kind of want to like they were talking a couple bunch of people were talking about it too. I was like trying to figure out like where like what would be the incentive of people doing like a triple crown as well as like where would they bring it and like how would that would that manage throughout the whole season? So first, because you're trying to officially finally like set up a season. That's actually what yeah. you're trying to do. Yeah, but it's bullshit because it's like so you're just gotta stay fit year round. <laughs> right, like you're literally murdering people. It'd be it's different. <laughs> or... Like you can make a triple column of golf, but like you can't do that with CrossFit. You literally just like no. seasons would end after two seasons. So here's the thing, though. Imagine this. Imagine in in times Dragons. before. No, please never. <laughs> <laughs> um. Imagine how people used to go to different sanctionals to try to qualify for the games. What if this part of the season is, hey, if I do well enough at this one competition during the season, I qualify for the CrossFit games and I can just focus on training and not overdoing it and trying to ramp up for this one part. So there might be a saying, but we're going to change the fucking season structure again. Hey, hey, that's what they do. But I'm just I'm just (laughs) saying like. That could be that could be possible. Um, also, if there's a triple crown for CrossFit, do we also get to like dress up and like have cocktails and stuff to watch it? Like we're for like that, like you know the Kentucky Derby, Churchill Downs, yeah, or Kentucky Derby. You know what I mean? Big, like big old women get like big old hats and stuff, <laughs> like a seer sucker dope. suit. Yeah, <laughs> hilarious. But I mean, man, like the one thing with like what I love about like the games is that, you know, like there's I mean, there's people like me that can just start like from the open and work your wave up. But at Rogue, it's like, okay, there are five qualifying spots out of the qualifier. Why would I do the qualifier? I am not going to make it. I know that. Bro, those Q workouts were. Dude, they're so gnarly. I feel like they're worse than Rogue. Josh and Spieler like do a very like very high quality job of proving yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. But rough. Boy, those are, those are some rough workouts. So where where like if they actually did a triple crown, like would you do it like, you know, one one place like down under, then Dubai, and then like Rogue or something like that? Or like no, where where would you, you to, like how would you manage that? You'd need to compress it to like you'd you'd have to do it more like golf. Like, you'd have to compress the season yeah. and have them be, like, okay. Because you're, like, these are big opportunities to win big prize purses. Yeah. Like, agree? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. like, you'd essentially do it, like, June, July, August. Or maybe do, like, a May, July, September. You're giving, like, athletes a window to, like, yeah. come down and, like, you can train back. Um, but it would have to be done that way. It's not going to be, like horse racing where it's mm-hmm. i believe it's over a six week period it goes kentucky belmont churchill yeah yeah like it's very quick it's like maybe six weeks and that's the only way and it would have to all be like you're staying in the u.s you're mm-hmm. gonna end up like i don't see them doing dubai down under games because of the time zones right or what if the triple crown is actually not based on location, but based on seasonal points where you're doing workouts and it's not, you're crowning the champion of that one yeah, but inviter. Then, it, then it's not really a triple crown anymore because you want to point yeah. system like golf. Like nobody gives a shit about who won the PGA tour championship for points at the end of the year. They only care like who won the U S the PGA, the masters and mm-hmm. the other one, the British open or the open. I'm sorry, they don't call it the British Open. They call it the Open. Open. Pretentious assholes. <laughs> <laughs> so Hannah, so like if if they actually did a triple crown, how many like how many times would you have to peak? Like every time, like obviously three or I four mean, times, because you have like the the three you know three competitions, then you have the games, and then you. Yeah, well, the games and, counts as one, right? In right. This games has to count as one. Yeah, right? like the games would be one, and yeah, they would like. But, like, yeah, that would be – it would either be, all right, like, games would start it. It would be, like, games, maybe Madrid, or you can say, do like, the SoCal one um, and Rogue. Like, that's back-to-back-to-back months. Like, yeah, you're, like, killing people. Like, I mean, I – for a fact, like, I think that's – like, 
I think some people could do it, but I just don't know how, like, what the longevity is if, unless, like, those people would be like, hey, like, my competition season is August through October, and I'm literally taking, like, the next nine months to recuperate and hopefully build back up. Like, it's, I feel like in theory, it's a cool idea, and this keeps coming back to the same old question, what the hell is our season schedule? Yeah. Right. Like, like that's where the the problem arises. It's like, okay, can we just get a set schedule season? Because currently, it's essentially. So what is it? Okay, so we have the games to Rogue is ten weeks. Something Let's call like that. it. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's October. It's twelve. Because it's the first weekend of August. Yeah. In September, last, and yeah. then it's Halloween weekend. So let's go at twelve weeks. Okay. Then we got November, December. It's like Waterloo's is what the end of January. Second. Yeah, yeah but there's Dubai coming up right now too. That's no, the other. We're not talking about Dubai. We're okay, using okay. ones they've said. So <laughs> that gives us three months, and then it's like we're we're back over again. But it's like it doesn't matter because Patty B can't win the games. He win like the other stuff though. Yeah, but he would win the triple crown. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> like it's like the game still means the most, right? Waterloo's is still important, but it's like the triple crown's cool. Um. Because I mean, Frazier never did it. Right. Froning, it, Fro, it wasn't real. Like, Rogue didn't exist when Froning was around, so he's not a fair example. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's more or less like, because Frazier never competed at uh, Waza. <laughs> no, but he, he did he did Dubai. I think he was the main ones he was doing were, like, the big money oh, ones. He, he yeah. Probably, he picked, like, the big Oh, yeah. Money. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's like, Yo, if, you, if, if you can get paid, get paid. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm taking, mad at it. I get, yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah, I'm chic even, money. But even yeah. Pat, even, oh, Jesus Christ, but even Pat, like, not winning the game. Like, you, <laughs> yo, you split, you put that one yeah, right I, in. Like, I was like, I was trying to figure out how to word it, and I was like, yeah. Like, blood it. money. I was like, ah, uh. <laughs> uh, Cheap blood money, yeah. Oh, man, yo, hopefully not reading this. We don't disappear as if we go. <laughs> no, I'm getting MBS tomorrow. <laughs> Jeez. No, I, I just like, man, like even Pat not winning the games is okay as long as he's getting those checks because he always yeah. cashes those water blues the checks. Like, I think it's a cool concept. It's just like, the I don't know if it's practical. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, five or six events that are just absolutely grueling over a two to three day like course where everyone always has to travel. It's hell. Um, yeah, like Chandler's just... going from down under was last weekend to dubai yeah directly to dubai and, it's and i think weekend. some people are going from fit fest in the uk to dubai after as well that's better I yeah it's better it's better yeah, it's but like, but it, like but again it's the same it's like still what a price let's call it a six hour time change. and they're not home yeah. it's like you're yeah. just you're spending time on the road like it's a pretty nice road last time i checked yeah, yeah, it is a nice Instagram. road yeah like i think it's, <laughs> it's a nice road you get, nice road. <laughs> you get you get cool opportunities and yeah. like all this stuff, but I mean, it's, I mean, for me, it's just like, okay, like it's, it, I mean, is this going to affect them long term? Is it going to affect them for like, I mean, they have time before the CrossFit season, but, um, and, the, I mean, like, we the triple crown becomes cool when people start to do it a lot. Mm-hmm. Right. Like it's yeah. a cool idea in theory because we, it's a, we need a thing to create. And Dave put like, that's the thing. Dave put out a really cool idea for people to talk about. You know what's another cool idea? If we make the Triple Crown, like, uh, put training programs at, like, head-to-head, almost like you would teams, where you have individual and team people competing in events and scoring points where they're, oh, that sounds a lot like Harry Potter. Oh, Christ. No, you're just... Uh, never mind. League. Never mind. It's, a, it's almost like the Grid stop, League. Stop doing Grid League. Oh, yeah, my stop. gosh. You recreated Grid League in your head, and that's immediately what I went to, and I was like, no. I was never there. It's on Instagram. Still there. True. Still there. 